everyone. Hope you all are having an amazing day. To make your day even more interesting, we at Intellipad have brought an interesting video on DevOps engineers' roles and responsibilities. This session is conducted by an expert having more than 15 plus years of industry experience. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us. Okay, so we're going to start off the session by discussing the agenda. So we will be first discussing why should you become a DevOps engineer and then move on to discuss what is a DevOps engineer exactly. After that, we're going to move on and talk about how to become a DevOps engineer. And then finally, the learning part as to how you can learn DevOps to get a brighter future. So guys, this is the agenda for this session. I hope it's clear to you. Now let's move on and start off with the first topic, which is why should you become a DevOps engineer? So there are basically three points that you should keep in mind when you're choosing any career profile, right? Uh, the job opportunities that are out there for that career for profile, the salary that it's going to award you, and the third thing that who is exactly hiring for the job profile. So keeping these things in mind, let's discuss the profile of DevOps engineer. So when you talk about the job opportunities, currently if you go online and if you search for DevOps engineer jobs, there are 2600 job profiles which are open right now, which you're going to apply to just in Bangalore. Uh, sorry, just in India. And if you just talk about Bangalore, there are 900 plus job positions that you can apply to. Similarly, if you talk about uh, US, there are 21,000 plus jobs that you can apply for just the DevOps profile right now. And if you talk about California as a, uh, as a state, the job profiles that are out there are 1,200 plus just for the DevOps engineer profile. Now, we just searched for the keyword DevOps in, uh, engineer. There are also Profiles such as DevOps architects, there are profiles such as, uh, 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 you know, uh, cloud and DevOps engineer, cloud engineer. So all these are similar profiles which have a similar job description. And you can just add the number to, uh, you know, this number once you search for those profiles as well. All right. So given the fact that we have just searched for DevOps engineer, these are the kind of numbers that we have got for the different locations that we are showing you. Now, moving forward, if you talk about the salary, the average salary of a DevOps engineer in India is around 80,000 rupees that, and it can go up to even 1 lakh rupees per month. So this is the average salary. And if you talk about, uh, can, can someone own more than this? Yes, absolutely. So there are people who are earning uh, upwards of 4 to 5 lakhs a month as well. But obviously their skill sets are a little more advanced, not a little, <laughs> I would just say a lot more advanced. They uh, probably know a lot more about DevOps, they know a lot more about cloud, they would know a lot more about development in general, right? And similarly, if we talk about US, the average salary lies between 11 to 16,000 rupees, uh, sorry, dollars per month, right? So this is the average. So people are earning less than this as well, people are earning more than this as well. But if uh, you talk about an average guy who is a DevOps engineer in the India and the US, these are the salaries that you might be earning. Similarly, uh, if you talk about uh, the companies, the different type of companies that you can apply to and the kind of salaries that you can expect. Well, if you apply to a service or product based company, you know, if, if you're applying for a service based company, probably the, uh, the, the salary will be a little less. The reason for that was that a service based company does not focus much on the product uh, that they're building, right? So they have a lot of products to build and uh, you know they have the same kind of job every time that they have to show in each kind of product so therefore the kind of salary that are there uh, is a little less or pretty less than uh, what you can get in a product based company if you apply as a devops engineer because the sole responsibility of a devops engineer is to focus on the product to make the product better right so sometimes the in a service based company the client may not want that kind of a requirement where they want the product to be uh, you know uh, really, uh, they, it patched every month or it, it should be patched every 15 days but when you have your own product when that product is the sole uh, thing which is you know earning you money in that case uh, companies or uh, startups which they have which have started those products basically focus or tend to focus more on the product and hence they need skilled or uh, you know, very experienced DevOps uh, engineers or DevOps architects. And that's why even the salary range in product based companies are higher, right? Then it also comes down to the experience. So if you have zero to five years of experience 
and uh, you know you are uh, applying for a devops engineer profile obviously with the experience you would have a little less skill set than a guy who is around 5 to 10 years of having uh, 5 to 10 years of experience right so but i mean this is something which uh, which is debatable so a guy who is 0 to 5 years experience might have more knowledge than a guy who is 10 years experience so it all depends on the guy who is applying and uh, in my experience that matters a lot while you're sitting out for interviews it does not matter how many years you have uh, basically spent in a particular domain it matters how many projects how much of uh, exposure you have got and how much of knowledge you have in that particular domain right so having said that now let's talk about who is hiring for devops engineers right so you have all these companies who are hiring for devops engineers like Amazon, Adobe, Walmart, IBM, Wells Fargo, VMware, Dell and a lot more companies because everything, if any product, any product life cycle is requiring DevOps these days just because of the simple fact that the team sizes have grown, the number of vulnerabilities which are out there on the internet have grown and similarly even the customer demand has changed so you have to cater to or there's there's a lot more competition now with respect to how applications are developed so let's say if you have amazon if you're working for a company called amazon and let's say the, uh, in the indian e-commerce e scene there is some there's a company called flipkart as well right so uh, the flipkart application uh, if it's, uh, it's if it's giving a lot more features than amazon well uh, that can impact their business so every app has to be updated Every app has to have uh, have cut to cut features, and because of that, the 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 whole uh, responsibility of you know driving the business comes down to the tech team of the company, right? And when you have to manage a tech team the in the most efficient manner, you need to implement a DevOps lifecycle. This companies have recognized, and that's why the demand for DevOps engineers is also growing as we move along in the future. Just a quick info, guys. If you want to make a career in cloud and DevOps then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in cloud computing and DevOps by ENICT Academy IIT Roorkee. And it is taught by IIT Roorkee professors and industry experts. This course is designed to help you upskill and land in your dream job. Now, let's continue with the session. Right, so now let's understand what does a DevOps engineer basically do. So talking about the jobs, uh, job response, or the responsibilities or the roles that a DevOps engineer has to play, uh, you know, when he's working for a particular company, uh, these are some of the things that he might have to do. So these are some job descriptions that we have picked up from, uh, you know, job portals like Nokri, like Indeed. And these are the things that the companies expect a DevOps engineer to do. So he should be well versed with Linux operating systems. He should be well versed with DevOps tools such as Jenkins, such as Git, such as uh, CI/CD tools, Gradle, Maven build tools, database, right? Then he should also now this is something which is peculiar to this particular job profile. Not all the uh, DevOps engineers would be expected to know, uh, you know, development like for example Java Web Services, REST, and SOAP APIs. Uh, probably they would be expected to know how to work with APIs, but not building APIs. So this is a peculiar job description. Let's look, have a look at more job descriptions. So uh, let's talk about VMware here. So in VMware, you can see there's no software development ex expectation over here. But if you look at, uh, you know, the, uh, the the skills that they're asking for, they're asking for tools like Ansible, Terraform, Jenkins, Docker, then Python. Uh, they're asking for cloud automation software, probably like Terraform, uh, then uh, AWS knowledge uh, like Route 53, and then um, you know DYN and then big IP so all these are things uh, that are expected so from the two job descriptions that we saw right now we come to know that uh, cloud is something that they're expecting and a whole lot of DevOps tools they are expecting let's look at one more job description so here's a job description from Amazon so what they're expecting is uh, a background from Linux uh, then he should be good with databases he should know about software development or technical support, right? Uh, they should also know about uh, uh, communicating the technical customer uh, technical requirements of customers uh, to their partners, and also they are expecting, you know, uh, working experience in Java or C++ based distributed systems. So distributed systems basically means uh, systems. So if you have experience in cloud, 
even that uh, would account to over here they're not expecting you to know a programming language they just expect you to know to uh, that you have worked on distributed systems similarly they expect you to know a scripting language such as perl or python right so if we were to summarize the skills that uh, you know different job descriptions are asking for uh, in a devops engineer profile so basically they are asking you to have uh, you know knowledge on distributed systems they have asking you to have knowledge on a certain operating system such as linux uh, they're asking you to have knowledge on devops tools such as terraform jenkins docker uh, they expect you to not have knowledge on cloud such as aws and azure databases scripting language so this are the, these you can say are some of the skills that are required in most of the job descriptions which are out there which are basically you know recruiting a devops engineer now, uh, talking about the day-to-day -day roles and responsibilities of a job in, uh, or DevOps engineer. So, now you can relate to what skills we just understood uh, to the job that the DevOps engineer basically has to do. So, he has to make sure that the development pipeline is running smoothly. So, uh, we read about the CI-CD uh, technologies, right? The CI-CD softwares uh, which are needed by a DevOps engineer as a skill so those basically help you to create development pipelines he should be good with communication hence his interaction with other teammates uh, you know is something that he should be good with he should be able to work on automation backlog so if there are a lot of features that a development team is not able to complete since the past time and now since you have been recruited in the company he should be able to create a process so that that backlog can be prioritized and can be worked upon by your development team now obviously if you hire a devops engineer in your company the speed of development is going to increase obviously it's going to increase because there are going to be a lot of processes that he are going he's basically going to make more efficient then uh, he should be good with uh, dealing with legacy stuff which basically means let's say if your company is uh, you know having it their own servers if they're having their own operating systems and if now they want to make a shift to uh, cloud you should be able to help them and in order to help them you should also be able to you know deal with the uh, older operating systems you should be able to deal with the uh, existing software which is there on their systems and help them uh, make a transition to cloud and implement devops over there right so he should also be uh, good with the training so since you will be hired at a senior profile you will be expected to form a team so you should be good with you know training uh, the guys uh, you who you will be hiring you should be good with hiring the p right kind of set of people so all this will be tested or all this will be expected from you or all this you will be doing once you get hired as a devops architect or as a devops engineer right and also uh, final and the most important part also is that you also should be good with documentation so whatever product that you build in order for uh, your team to understand it uh, i mean because there always is going to uh, going to be uh, you know new additions to your team some people might go some people might come so it might be very different uh, difficult for you to give kt to each and every person in the team so it's very important to have a proper documentation in place that you can use to basically uh, you know give to your new employees and so that they can understand the new employees can understand your product from that documentation pretty well okay now let's talk about the fact that how can you become a devops engineer right so we have just talked about what are the day to day activities what are the skills required to be a devops engineer right and we have also talked about why you should become a devops engineer let's talk now about how to become a devops engineer so guys uh, first of all you will have to go through all these skill sets uh, one by one so you will have to learn all these skill sets uh, you will have to have an understanding of major devops tools you should be good with uh, automating devops pipelines you should be good with distributed systems linux operating system databases uh, scripting language cloud infrastructure so all this is something that you'll have to be good with right now you might be thinking then how do i go ahead and learn all of these things so guys it will take time so honestly you cannot become a devops engineer overnight you will have to work on these skills and if you're self-learning especially it will take time because obviously you might have a side job as well that you're doing currently or you might have a job that you're trying to switch from obviously which you cannot leave until and unless you have a job in hand right so you will have to spend some time you will have to be consistent in gaining all these skill sets and once you do obviously i mean uh, since devops is a technology which is not 
uh, you know taught in colleges obviously you know people who are devops engineers today they have gained this skill set over time and that's how they are where they are right now so if you want to be in this profile obviously it's not like uh, you cannot switch from your current domain to this profile obviously it's possible it's just that you will have to put in a little bit of effort just a quick info guys if you want to make a career in cloud and devops then intellipad provides an advanced certification in cloud computing and devops by enict academy iit roorkee and it is taught by iit roorkee professors and industry experts this course is designed to help you upskill and land in your dream job